In 1889, Van Gogh voluntarily admitted himself to a lunatic asylum. It was followed by a mental breakdown that caused him to cut off his left ear. In this asylum, he created some of the most well-known paintings, such as, for example, irises and the blue self-portrait. His famous Starry Night actually shows the view from the east-facing window of his room, just before the sunrise. Not exact, but close, though there is no village or the church. Woman who painted this painting was raped when she was 18 years old, and it was in the 17th century. She confronted her rapist in a public trial. As a result, he was found guilty and sentenced to a year in prison. The artist reflected her experience in the most famous work, Judith slaying Holofernes. This artist painted directly from life whenever possible. But his 19-year-old model is said to have posed in a bathtub filled with water in the artist's London studio, rather than being exposed to the greenery. Munch was out for a walk at sunset when the setting sunlight turned the clouds a blood red. He sensed, as he put it, an infinite scream passing through nature. The unusually orange sky has been attributed to a volcanic eruption, according to some. Given that Munch's sister had just lately been admitted to a mental institution, another explanation might have been the outcome of his emotional state. Munch produced four paintings and pastel versions of this work, as well as a lithograph stone, from which several prints survive. Both of the painted versions have been stolen and recovered. This artist, noted for his moody portraits and dimly lit domestic interiors, might have been hiding a secret darker than these paintings. Disturbing pieces such as Jack the Reaper's Bedroom and the Camden Town Murder may reflect some connection between the artist and the butcher, either as an accomplice or the murderer himself. The composition of this masterpiece comprises three main elements – raging sea, three boats and a mountain. The mountain is Mount Fuji, which in Japan is considered sacred and a symbol of national identity and beauty. We can determine that the wave must be at least 12 meters tall, based on the boat's 30 passengers. The wave shows the artist's awe and fear of the unpredictable sea. Jong singer Sajjant hoped this piece would make his career. However, when first exhibited at the Paris Salon in 1884, the painting of Virginia Avenue Gautreau, the American wife of a French banker, outraged critics. It's okay to be sexy for a mythological heroine, tolerable for a prostitute working as an artist's model, but downright offensive when applied to a woman of upper-crust Parisian society. Watson and the Shark depicts the rescue of a boy from a shark attack in Havana in 1749. Brooke Watson was a 14-year-old cabin boy, and he lost his leg in this attack. People couldn't save him until the third attempt. Susanna and the Elders depicts a scene from the Book of Daniel, where two elderly men spy on a young woman named Susanna in a garden bath. The two elders demanded sexual favors from her. When Susanna refused, they tried to ruin her reputation until a young man named Daniel stopped them. He suggested the men to be questioned separately. Their stories did not coincide with each other, so Susanna's name was cleared. This painting depicts the Greek myth of the Titan Cronus, Romanized to Saturn. Fearing that he would be overthrown by one of his children, he ate each one upon their birth. The work is one of the 14 black paintings that Goya painted directly onto the walls of his house. Did you like this video? If so, please subscribe to our channel The Mind of Art and hit the notification bell not to miss our future videos. The next video will come out tomorrow, so don't miss it. See you soon. Goodbye.